Hello and welcome, Dave and Joan Maroney here, your Mother of Mercy Messengers, with a very special... Special. <laughs> very special uh, Divine Mercy Adoration for Our Nations meeting today here on Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday. And uh, so we're going to be talking about, it's also the third day of the... Novena. Novena to the Divine Mercy from the Diary of St. Faustina. You can find us at divinemercyforamerica.org. Click the membership tab and get connected. And the novena for today is all devout and faithful souls, Joni. That's Wait, what do you, you think about oh, that? Oh, that's that's all of you. And we've got a beautiful reflection for you today. So um, before we go to Holy Hour, which will start here in about 15 minutes. And uh, let's start with a... Let's bring our Blessed Mother into this. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and, and at the hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we are not only your hosts today, but we are your guest speakers so we're going to be talking about uh, the octave of Easter, the celebration of Easter. And we're going to be kind of start off with a uh, the view from uh, from the apostles point of view. Can I back up a, just a, back up a little bit. And, and this was something I, I just jump about. in, Joni. OK, <laughs> thanks. I don't know how you all felt, but I woke up this morning and we were getting Easter greetings from people and, you know, it's awesome. And we know that the hallelujahs are being sung and, uh, you know, flowers and birdies and, and eggs and all that. But I was like, I don't, I just feel kind of down and I feel, uh, it was kind of rainy or drizzly here and cloudy. And, and I said, I, I feel like, uh, remorseful that we've gone through Lent. Dave's like, Lent is over. And I said, I just feel like I, I didn't do Lent the way I really wanted to. You know, I had all these, it, it did a lot for Lent. We were working our tails off uh, because of all the novenas, the 54 day novena and all, all that we do and the orders and the busyness. I mean, so we work really, it's our busiest season. We're working really, really hard, but you know, I, I was just feeling like, I don't feel excited. I don't feel happy. And Dave's like, it's because we're sharing in what the apostles experienced. And he said, you know, on Easter morning, Jesus rose from the dead, but it wasn't like everybody was like, hey, he rose from the dead, you know, hallelujah, hallelujah, that they got it. There was a lot of confusion. And when we've given programs talking about the Feast of Mercy, uh, Dave's pointed out for a long time how the octave is one long day from Easter Sunday to the Feast of Mercy. And so what we started doing is, I was like, you're right. They didn't get it at first. And really the church gives us this octave, these eight days to really kind of gnaw on it. And to unpack what's happened, the events from, you know, the Last Supper to the you know, yeah, and you think the about garden, it's like the we, crucifixion, everything. It's right. And you said something interesting because we got a I did. Yeah. A happy Easter from from his cousin who's um she's raised Baptist, right? She's about good Christian woman and everything. And he said, you know, growing up as a Baptist, why don't you tell him what you said? Well, it's you know, I had a wonderful, wonderful uh upbringing in the Baptist church in Corpus Christi, Texas, parked up one time we were meeting with Father Kaz, our provincial superior with the bishop, and was talking about uh, where we were, you know, grew up and the bishop turned to me and said, and so what, what parish did you go to? I said, Parkdale Baptist. <laughs> but, you know, we didn't have uh, the Good Friday uh, uh, devotions, let's call it, you know, the, the diving into the passion in that manner. I and mean, we had a lot of good things in the Baptist church, but we did not have the fullness of the faith. And so as my journey to the fullness of the faith, you know, learning about uh, the, the, the great tra Catholic traditions for Good Friday, there's so much to it and, it, and it brings you so close to Jesus, you know, it brings you to the foot of the cross. 
And uh, so where was I going with that, Joni? So we, so the point was, you know, just a few days ago, they saw Jesus brutally beaten, his skin ripped off of his body. I mean, this is fresh. Traumatic. They're in shock. Yeah. And Peter denied him. Imagine his remorse. And they ran so me... away from him and they were cowards. And so they're living with a lot of fear, regret. Like I was saying, I'm regretting that I didn't, my Lent wasn't as Lenten and, you know, uh, as I wanted it to be as, uh, and, and so this is where they were, you know, in li still living in shock. Go ahead. And that's what the Bible says. You know, it, well, let's, let's take it from our reading today. You know, Mary Magdalene went to, to the tomb before sunrise this morning, the, the stone is rolled to the side and, uh, you know, she encounters Jesus and, uh, uh, it thinks that it's the gardener. Oh. And then she says, uh, uh, he says, Mary, and she realizes who it is. She runs to tell the disciples, the apostles, if Peter and John come running to the tomb, John gets there first and, and just looks in and P then Peter gets there and, and he goes in, but, uh, and then, th you know, the gospel tells us that John then, went in and saw the claws and believed. So we know at that moment, okay, early in the morning, Easter Sunday morning, John believed. But when did the other si disciples, and, other apostles come to the realization that Jesus had resurrected from And Don knows, who is our guest on Good Friday, brought that point up so beautifully. So I encourage you, if you haven't seen that talk that Don gave, it was really beautiful. John got it, but nobody else did. And as we go through this week, the church points that out to us. It took them time to, you know, reconcile all this of what was going on and figure it all out. So I encourage you to get a uh, a missile. You can get them on online on app on your phone, you know, and and uh, do if you don't go to daily mass, read those readings, the mass readings every day of this week. If they're really they bring you through this journey of the octave of the resurrection. So we just have a few minutes yeah. before we go to Holy Hour, but we'll kind of do that for you to encapsulate it. And then we're hoping to be able to sit down um, in a day or two with, and maybe maybe put this out for everybody in a more concise and professional way. But so today we talk about Peter and John going there and then John, John saw and believed. So tomorrow on Monday, it's from Matthew and it's about how Mary Magdalene goes and um, she sees Jesus on the way back. They don't know. They're fearful that that they're over uh, overcome with joy, but still not knowing what's going on. And Jesus, they see Jesus. This is the way Matthew tells it. And he tells them, go and tell my brothers. Go and tell them. Also in this part, um, tomorrow they talk about how uh, the Jewish leaders found out and they get with the guards and remember they give the guards the money and they said, lie to everyone and tell them that uh, they stole the body. So all this confusion is going on and Matthew covers that tomorrow. Then on Tuesday, we kind of hear the same scene of Mary Magdalene coming to the tomb, but from John's gospel. And this is where uh, she doesn't, she sees him and she thinks he's the gardener until the Lord calls her name Mary, and and then she calls him Rabboni, and he says, don't touch me because I haven't gone to my father yet. So both Monday and Tuesday, to me, it's kind of they recounting this experience that Mary Magdalene had, one from Matthew's gospel. They're a little bit different, but the same. Um, probably put them both together, and that happened. But And Jesus tells her, uh, go to my brothers and tell them I'm going to my father and your father. And uh, so Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Okay. Right. Then we go to Wednesday. And Wednesday is when the disciples are walking on the road to Emmaus. That very day, the first day of the week. So on Resurrection Sunday, the two disciples are walking to Emmaus. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And they're talking about what happened, right? Again, this was a a traumatic thing that happened to the disciples for Jesus. So they're like, what we believed in this man. They killed him. They crucified him, you know, and what now? And Jesus asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? And they oh, didn't recognize him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing, everything that's gone on in Jerusalem, do you not know? You know, and you know the story. 
And then they didn't recognize them. So they went and ate. So and then the breaking, breaking of the bread. The breaking of the bread. So it's starting to like sink in, you know. And then they went, went after he disappeared after the breaking of the bread and they recognized him. They went immediately and told the apostles also. So they've heard it from Mary and uh, the two uh, gentlemen on the way to Emmaus. Okay, it takes us to Thursday, Thursday, Luke's gospel from chapter 24. And this is where Jesus appears to them in the upper room where, where they, they were, and they they think it's a ghost. And he says, no, I'm not a ghost. He showed him his hands and his feet. They were overjoyed. And he explains the scriptures to them. So here we're getting to Thursday. And he says, have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of, of fish and, and he ate it there before them to, to sh that he was really so the bodily a body he wasn't just in spirit. Right. So now they're seeing he's not a ghost. He's really a body. Then on Friday, we go back to John. And uh, this is where Peter, I love this one. This is where Peter's like, I'm going. Fishing. I'm going fishing. <laughs> Hand me my fishing pole. I got to go fishing again. I'm sure confusion not knowing what's going on let's go fishing let me get me out on the water let me think let me go back to 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 my you know previous career and this is where they see jesus is on the shore and it's interesting have you caught anything no throw on the right side and they don't recognize him at that point no and i think why do they say the right side i don't know if that has anything to do with right and left whatever but they throw on the right side and this is where 183 big fish and you know, we've heard that that represents all the languages that are were known in the world that day. So it represents that they caught the whole world. And they said, so the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. Because he knew. Mm -hmm. And he, Peter jumped into the sea to, to swim to the shore. They were 100 yards offshore. All right. So that was the third. There time. was the fire. And then he said, bring a fish. And he, he ate again in front of them. That was the third time. Okay. This brings us to Easter Saturday, and this is from Mark. This is the first time we've heard from Mark weighing in yes. on this. Yes. Gospel of Mark. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom, da, 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 and... Uh, when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they they did not believe. So this this that's Resurrection Sunday. That's today. The disciples, the apostles did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along the way to the country. They returned and told them, but they did not believe them either. So that's what's going on on this day. It's not like the apostles, you know, by by noon. OK, get out the Easter eggs, you know. No, it was, I mean, the, the trauma is still in their heart, in their brain. Well, and, and hard to believe that he rose from the dead. I mean, no one had ever done that except, you know, he rose people from the dead. I think that's why John got it at the tomb. You know, Jesus resurrected people from the dead. So when he saw the cloths there, he put it together. I well, think. also, he was closest to Jesus's heart, you know, his purity of heart. You know, he so he had that. I think clear. So he knows it. And he goes back to the brother, the apostles. And I imagine Peter is just like closed lip because he's still remorseful of, of denying Jesus. And all the apostles are discussing what's going on. And I imagine John is thinking, hey, guys, he rose from the dead. But also on Saturday, they say they were mourning and weeping behind closed doors. That was powerful. You know, again, this this is that clue, that insight into what the apostles and and ladies when and that's, that, go ahead. I'm sorry. What? Well, that's kind of you know again how many of us, as our eyes are open or the world's eyes are open, we will be in a state of mourning and weeping when we see the crucifixion of Jesus, when we understand his suffering, his death, and and how weak we've become. I just, we'll get back to that, but tying all this in. Yeah, because we're up to Divine Mercy Sunday. Yes. So let's don't, don't yes. forget that. No, I don't. But the third day is for devout and faithful souls. Amen. And this is where, despite the cra how, how crazy things sound, to be devout in our prayer life and faithful to, to the Lord and his teachings, I, I think. So it's no matter what's going on in right. your life and. 
and we don't understand oh, it. I, I don't know why I'm going through this problem. I don't know why we've had this tragedy. I don't know why people are suffering. I don't know why I have this illness. I don't know why my kids are being this way to me, whatever it is. So on Saturday, they cover the three ways. They didn't believe Mary Magdalene. They didn't believe the apostles. I mean, the disciples on the road to Emmaus. Then he appears with them at table, the 11, where... Um, Thomas still wasn't there. This is on Holy Saturday, on Easter Saturday, right? So it's not until Sunday. No, that was it. That was the that That's, evening of the first day. Yes, but in the Saturday reading. Okay, in the Saturday, yes. Right. They talk about the third time that he appeared at Easter Saturday. Saturday. Easter so Saturday. It, the, the the last day, this the the of, eighth, the seventh day of, of octave. Easter octave. Okay, they're so, still discussing that they didn't. You know, they were told and they didn't believe. All right. So on Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday, on the eighth day, the Gospel of John, chapter 20, Jesus appears coming through the upper Well, okay. on the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. So this is hearkening back to Resurrection Sunday, that first day they gathered that night. They were fearful locked the doors and Jesus stood there in their midst and said to them, peace to you. Can you imagine That's Peter right. seeing him that night? Can you imagine Peter just thinking, Lord, I'm so sorry. I denied you. And, and he Thomas said, this wasn't there. Thomas wasn't there. Okay. Continue. Thomas called Didymus. One of the 12 was not with them. So uh, the other disciples had said to them, we have seen the Lord. And Thomas said, yeah, sure. What did he say? Unless I put my fingers into his wound and my hand to in, into his side. And then it says now a week later. So on the octave, now we're up to the octave of the resurrection, the eighth day of the resurrection. They were again inside and Thomas was with them and Jesus came, although the doors were locked, stood in the midst and said, peace to you. He said to Thomas, put your finger here. Now, look, look, what's Jesus doing in the divine mercy image with his left hand? He's pulling his gown aside. He's saying this is the icon for divine mercy Sunday. Peter, uh, uh, Jesus appearing to them uh, in the locked room. He's blessing them peace to you he's pulling his gown aside saying thomas put your finger in here look at this wound that i suffered for you this di relates directly to that gospel reading go ahead you got something well just we were going to read about him saying he institutes the sacrament of reconciliation right then and there peace to you first of all don't worry. And again, their remorse, their regret, their sorrow, their embarrassment. And he comes with his face is full, full of love, full of mercy. And he says, can you read that? Yes. He says, uh, uh, receive the Holy spirit. Oh, he blows on them. Mm -hmm. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them and whose sins you retain are retained. And he also said to Thomas, uh, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. That's you, the, the listener in our family here and on Zoom. So, yes. So just to kind of recap again, on the eighth day, the church, the readings tie together what happened on the first day, Resurrection Sunday, how he appeared to the 11, all the kids, and then... They also then tie what happened the following week, the eighth day, when Jesus appeared to all 12 of them, including Thomas, and in institutes the sacrament of reconciliation, gives them the right to forgive sins and help bound. And so that's the conclusion. It's the bookends of what is happening. So this is what we're entering into this week, and we continue to meditate as we go through the readings at Mass. We didn't even get into the beautiful uh, the first and readings from the Acts of the Apostles. And again, it's a continuum, the season of Lent to Resurrection Sunday today, to the octave of the Resurrection, Divine Mercy Sunday, to the Easter season, to, to uh, 
the uh, the uh, to Pentecost and to the octave of Pentecost. Well, and actually, the readings, uh, the first readings for for all week, have to do with the Acts of the Apostles, and it starts off. It was at Pentecost, uh, Peter and John, and now they're going out. Also, we're we're seeing that in the Gospels, the the apostles are dealing and the disciples are all dealing with confusion and trying to reconcile what happened and to get their heads around it. But in the first readings, we see that how this impact, and now they're out and Peter starts, you know, uh, uh, curing people and speaking out boldly. And they're already starting to be kind of questioned by the church. So what a beautiful, rich time this is. Amen. So with that, Let's go to pray and let's 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 ourselves to help as we visit with the Lord and how beautiful it was on yesterday when we came into adoration that they were just removing Jesus from the tabernacle. If you weren't with us yesterday, put into place in the monstrance, not yeah. removing, but bringing Jesus out. I, removing, yeah. What a beautiful sign! Thank you, Lord, for that great gift of showing us yourself. So we prepare our heart. To place ourselves in the presence of Jesus. And we remember our dear brother, Lauren Faria. You know, he's praising the Lord today. Oh, can you? I can hear him. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we are, the chapel in Vilnius. The live feed is in. We are live. Jesus. It's uh, actually eight minutes after midnight on. April 1st, there, it's already April 1st. Easter Monday. Easter Monday in Vilnius. So we take a moment and we say, Jesus, we believe, Jesus, we believe in your resurrection because we believe you are the Son of God, the Son of Man, the Paschal Lamb that has come to give yourself so that we may live. We don't understand it, Jesus, why our Heavenly Father asked you to go through that. It just does not make sense why you had to suffer and go through your bitter passion. But that's how the Father wanted and wanted it, and we accept it. And because of your sacrifice, we praise you. The name of Jesus above all names, Jesus, we praise you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And we begin this holy hour with the spiritual communion in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And we go right into the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Just want to say, Jesus, thank you for giving me an open heart to the fullness of the faith, to, to praying the rosary, how much of a blessing that has been in my life, words cannot describe. So, and do you have reflections ready? So we will begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praying the glorious mysteries here on Easter Sunday. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. 
and for the intentions of our Blessed Mother for the Magisterium of the Church. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, and we have some meditations from the diary of St. Faustina. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. This is from Diary Passage 2. Uh, 205. The Resurrection. Today, during the Mass of the Resurrection, I saw the Lord Jesus in the midst of a great light. He approached me and said, Peace be to you, my children. And he lifted up his hand and gave his blessing. The wounds in his hands, feet, and side were indelible and shining. When he looked at me with such kindness and love, my whole soul drowned itself in him, and he said to me, You have taken a great part in my passion. Therefore, I now give you a great share in my joy and glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, Effie, you'll need to turn. Bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I apologize. I think our internet is uh, having a hiccup here on our side. So <laughs> if we don't respond, we don't carry on, just give us a moment. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins. Then save us from fires of hell, lead us to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave, ave, ave Maria. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus. This is from Diary. Oh, I don't have the passage number, but it's um, was the date was May 26th in 1938. St. Faustina died in October of 1938, and this was on the Feast of the Ascension that year. And she wrote, Today I accompanied the Lord Jesus as he ascended into heaven. It was about noon. I was overcome by a great longing for God. It is a strange thing. The more I felt God's presence, the more ardently I desired him. Then I saw myself in the midst of a huge crowd of disciples and apostles, together with the mother of God. Jesus was telling them, Go out into the world, go out into the whole world and teach in my name. He stretched out his hands and blessed them and disappeared in a cloud. I saw the longing of Our Lady. Her soul yearned for Jesus with the whole force of her love. But she was so peaceful and so united to the will of God that there was not a stir in her heart but for what God wanted. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. From Diary Passage 793. I am reliving these moments with Our Lady. With great longing, I am waiting for the Lord's coming. Great are my desires. I desire that all humankind come to know the Lord. I would like to prepare all nations for the coming of the Word incarnate. O oh, Jesus, make the fount of your mercy gush forth more abundantly. For humankind is seriously ill and thus has more need than ever of your compassion. You are a bottomless sea of mercy for us sinners, and the greater the misery, the more right we have to your mercy. You are a fount which makes all creatures happy by your infinite mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Say our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is from Diary Passage uh, 1711, taken August 15th, the Feast of the Assumption, in 1937. I'm going to read the writings and I'll read the books in there. And there, well, it's from two. The first part is 1244. This uh, diary, 1244. Okay. August 15th, 1937. During meditation, God's presence pervaded me keenly. Pervaded me keenly. And I was aware of the Virgin Mary's joy at the moment of her assumption. I remained alone with the Most Holy Mother who instructed me about the will of God and how to apply it in my life, submitting completely to His Most Holy decrees. This is what the Blessed Mother said. It is impossible for one to please God without obeying His Holy Will. My daughter, I strongly recommend that you faithfully fulfill all God's wishes for that is most pleasing in his holy eyes. I very much desire that you distinguish yourself in this faithfulness in accomplishing God's will. Put the will of God before all sacrifices and holocausts. When I was left alone with the Blessed Virgin, she instructed me concerning the interior life. She said, the soul's true greatness is in loving God and in humbling oneself in his presence, completely forgetting oneself and believing oneself to be nothing, because the Lord is great, but he is well pleased only with the humble. He always opposes the proud. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us give this us day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, Andy and Ada, you guys are doing the fourth decade of the chaplet. Okay, that's a little later. All right. Uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy So we froze up. Could could you hear us or what's happening from your end? Are we just frozen or we yeah, were just yeah. frozen? We're just frozen. Okay. We didn't hear the we didn't hear the glory be. I hadn't heard. Right, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh glory be to the Father and to the Son, the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Diary Passage 805 From early morning, I felt the nearness of the Blessed Mother. During Holy Mass, I saw her, so lovely and so beautiful, that I have no words to express even a small part of this beauty. She was all in white, with a blue sash around her waist. Her cloak was also blue, and there was a crown on her head. Marvelous light streamed forth from her whole figure. She said, I am the queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, we turn to you. We ask for your powerful intercession in our lives. Queen of heaven, queen of earth, queen of our families, queen of our, our work, queen of our homes, queen of our land, queen of the world. Pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus. Forgive us sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To Thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To Thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, Thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, of, of the, the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And for the intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Joseph, to you, O Blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance 
which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood. And with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O oh, most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O oh, most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Marie Claire. And thank you all. Now we go to the great prayer, the litany of the saints. We ask all the saints in heaven to pray for us. The litany of the saints, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Thomas, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint Philip, pray for us. Saint Bartholomew, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. Saint Simon, pray for us. Saint Jude, pray for us. Saint Matthias, pray for us. Saint Barnabas, pray for us. Saint Luke, pray for us. Saint Mark, pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists, pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord, pray for us. All you holy innocents, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian, pray for us. Saints John and Paul, pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien, pray for us. All you holy martyrs, pray for us. Saint Sylvester, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Nicholas, Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors, pray for us. All you holy doctors, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. All you holy 
priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Claire. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy mar all you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning, from lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back Back to the unity of the church, all those who are straying, and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. Thank you all. Now, Lee will lead us in the St. Gertrude prayer. Yes. Prayer of St. Gertrude the Great. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. Amen. Now the great chaplet of divine mercy, which Jesus asked one time for St. Faustina to gather the, the wards that the sisters took care of, the young ladies and the sisters to gather in the chapel and to make a novena of chaplet. And uh, today we are on the third day of the novena to the divine mercy that began on Good Friday, concludes on the vigil of the Feast of Mercy. And so we will read the intention. I'll read the Jesus words, and then Helen will lead us in the intentions for the third day of the novena to the divine mercy. Jesus said, Today bring to me all devout and faithful souls and immerse them in the ocean of my mercy. These souls brought me consolation on the way of the cross. They were that drop of consolation in the midst of an ocean of bitterness. Most merciful Jesus, from the treasury of your mercy, you impart your graces in great abundance to each and all. Receive us into the abode of your most compassionate heart and never let us escape from it. We beg this grace of you by that most wondrous love for the Heavenly Father, with which your heart burns so fiercely. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon faithful souls as upon the inheritance of your Son. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, grant them your blessing and surround them with your constant protection. Thus, may they never fail in love or lose the treasure of the holy faith, but rather with all the hosts of angels and saints, may they glorify your boundless mercy for endless ages. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. And the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sin sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, God holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Prayer to Our Lady of America, O Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our homes, and our land the coming of Jesus, your divine Son. With him, reign over us, O heavenly lady, so pure and so bright, with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you. Be our leader against the powers of evil, set upon resting in the world of souls, redeemed at such a great cost by the suffering of your son and of yourself. In union with him, from that same savior who loves us with infinite charity, we gather about you, O chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all the world an abyss of evil. Without God and without you, loving maternal care. <laughs> we consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart, O great Queen, that the kingdom of your Son, our Redeemer, and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet Mother, for we believe in your great love for us, and we place in you our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desire. Reign over us, then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your Son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart and your most chaste heart 
be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us, so that we may be glory to the blessed Trinity, who created, redeemed, and sanctifies us. May your valiant spouse, St. Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then, when our work is over, come Holy Immaculate Mother, and as our victorious Queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom, where your Son reigns forever as King. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Jesus, we love you. Praise you, Jesus. The name of Jesus above all names, Jesus, on this day, we ponder your resurrection from the dead. We join your apostles as they try to figure it out, Jesus, the trauma, the horror of the crucifixion that just took place two days ago, still in our minds. And yet you are with us in your resurrected body. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus, Son of God, Son of Man, who has come to free the world of sin. Amen. Et anticum documentum, no voce da ritui, prestet fide supplementum, sensum defectui, genitori genitoque, Thou said you be lasio, salus on a virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abut proque, comparsit laudatio. Um, Lord, we will be back tomorrow. All right, everyone. Boy, how beautiful. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, holy well, hour. Just, you know, it was on nice. this holy so day. Very nice. On this holy day to be joined with all of you. There's Edward in Florida, sunny Florida. Good to see you all. Hey, Joe and Christine. Okay, Christine's got her hand up. We'll go to you first, hon. Yesterday, I spent the day doing all different kinds of things, but I found on YouTube what St. Longitude, what caused St. Longitude Long, but I can't Longinus. say Longinus. Longinus to announce that surely this mm -hmm. is the Son of God, and with the earthquakes and the, I mean it, that that it, it made you feel like you were there. They couldn't get. How could these apostles get over what happened that day? It was just you know just just the splitting of the temp of the curtain, the earthquakes, the people rising from the dead. I mean, there was just so much going on that. How could any, I mean, that whole trauma would take days to get, overcome. So, right. yeah, I agree with you totally there. It was really, uh, really uh, very powerful. Thank you, Christine. Good Amen. Morning. Thank you. All right. Larry, what's up? Well, I agree with what uh, the lady just said. We never, I never thought about it. We usually just jump from Easter, uh, from, you know, Easter uh, Lent, uh, Easter Tritium, and bingo, we're good to go on, you know, he has risen and whatever else, and then we just go into Easter season, spring, and Pentecost, and whatever, and then we're done until the next year. 
but now you pointed out that we should think about things from a whole different standpoint. Uh, I've always believed that if you really want to get a good meaning out of any gospel story or message, place yourself in that story at that time, you know, with those folks wearing those clothes, with those customs, and just picture, put yourself in there as an extra crowd member or whatever else and try to see it from that standpoint and whatever else. And it's a, a, a game changer. Amen. Amen. Good point. Absolutely. All right. Anybody else? Thoughts, comments, insights? Outsights? Uh, sorry, it was rather interesting, Joan. Um, in, in our church, um, when they reposed after the, the uh, Thursday vigil, someone had actually created a garden, a garden downstairs in the auditorium. It was just absolutely stunning. It was just like the colors and the, you swear that you were just in the in Gethsemane, in the Garden of Agony. It was just amazing. Amazing. Wow. God bless all the people that worked, yeah, so, they hard worked so hard, decorate the churches and set up for all these, all these holy days and special liturgical events that we have. Um, they really enhance the the celebrations. We had adult baptisms last night. There were six that were baptized, and, and Father Simon, I have to tell you, I mean, he just they were drenched. Like they they have a huge, huge, huge font where they actually get in, and he just drenched yeah, them. Anyway. Oh, he does. <laughs> That's he does. Awesome. That's quite awesome. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. Yeah. Christine, did you have another comment? Okay. Yes, I do. I do. Um, I have to say that our priest actually brought in a shepherd and a donkey on the entrance into Jerusalem to go through the pews. That's how it started. It was really fantastically awesome. And then um, I wanted to just say that um, I think it might be a good exercise to find out all the different interpretations of what people think glory really is. I mean, I've heard all different kinds of 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 answers to that. What is glory? And um, I have my own interpretation, but of course, but so many people have so many different wonderful interpretations of it. It's amazing. Just want to throw that on the table. <laughs> okay, Rob, did you want to say something? I think we'll spend eternity trying to draw a conclusion of what, what that answer is, honestly. Hey, um, man. Yeah. I think glory is um, when you speak of God, um, we will forever be um, praising him and, and, and learning more and more about him in eternity. And I feel like that's when you say glory, that's, when I think of the Lord and when I think of the unspeakable, that's that's glory comes to mind. So, yes, well said. Yes, well yeah. said. All right. Anybody else? All right then. Is there someone else? No. Can okay. I share? You want to share something? Yeah, just like to to share our uh, the YouTube channel if you've never been there. Uh, you know, you can search YouTube and uh, Divine Mercy for America. And these are our new uh, Novena videos. Uh, we're producing them as we go along, so there'll be more up here, here as we go. And then this is uh, the, the playlist for these holy hours that get recorded. So if you ever want to view one of these, you know, a past holy hour, then uh, they are here in this playlist. But I'd like to show, uh, I have pulled up the uh, today's Novena to the Divine Mercy. Oh, hang on one second. Let me go back. And, uh, you know, I think this would work well if you were showing it, if you were leading the novena in your church and you wanted to put this on the big screen. The third day of the novena to the divine mercy. 
Today bring to me all devout and faithful souls, and immerse them in the ocean of my mercy. These souls brought me consolation on the way of the cross. They were that drop of consolation in the midst of an ocean of... And then it goes to the chaplet included in the video. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired. So you can, uh, you know, ask you to share those those videos and use them. It's got the words on the screen for people who are not familiar. So, all right. Um, anything else? Like to... I think that's about it, uh, Joni. I would like to invite you back tomorrow as we enter into uh, this Easter week. We are, we are blessed to have Father Joe Roche, who is our uh, Superior General for the Marians. He lives in Rome. He's actually coming to Stockbridge for the Feast uh, for Divine Mercy Sunday next weekend. But um, he's going to be, I believe, joining us from Rome uh, tomorrow. So it'll be late, late night for him. And then he'll be leaving the next day for the United States. And <clears throat> so we're really blessed to have him. And uh, we'd just like to show off all your beautiful faces for him to see <laughs> all of you. And uh, he'll be leading us in the reflections for tomorrow on day four. Um, on the little pamphlet, it says, uh, those who do not believe in God in those who do not know me Originally from the diary, uh, St. Faustina used the word pagans, but after Vatican II, they changed it uh, to be a little bit softer. We talked a little bit about that yesterday, but I think it'll be an interesting reflection. Um, wait a minute. Did I do the right one? Tomorrow's the fourth day. The fourth day. Yes, 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 yes. The fourth day. So, and we will continue, continue on with some... Uh, great speakers for the rest of, of the Novena. And Helen, yes, that's correct. The Novena to the Divine Mercy begins on Good Friday and concludes on the Vigil of Divine Mercy Sunday. The ninth day of the Novena is uh, Easter Saturday. For you know, that's customary for a lot of the Novenas to end on uh, the day before uh, the feast. And the last day is so important. It's for the lukewarm and... Um, since we're here, I'll just share with you to understand who are the souls designated for this day. This comes from another pamphlet the Marians did taken from the diary. Um, and who in the diary are called lukewarm, but are also compared to ice and to corpses. We would do well to take note of the definition that the Savior himself gave them when speaking to St. Faustina about them on one occasion. Um, he said, there are souls who thwart my efforts. That's passage 1682. He, and then in 1702, he said, souls without love or devotion, souls full of egoism and selfishness, proud and arrogant souls full of deceit and hypocrisy, lukewarm souls who have just enough warmth to keep themselves alive. My heart cannot bear this. All of the graces that I pour out upon them flow off them as off the face of a rock. I cannot stand them because they are neither good nor nor bad. Wow. <laughs> Don't be lukewarm. Oh, so, yikes. He's pretty, uh, pretty strong. So when we start watering down some of the things he says, I, um, I don't know if we should or not, but. And another uh, thing. Who am I? <laughs> another thing about the, uh, yeah. the novena in the diary, there's a little poem included on each day of the novena and the pamphlets don't include, I don't know why they don't include those. And we have, uh, you can see the little poem that's in the middle, just a, you know, so in our novena, so in our novena, so I'm going to ask Joan to read the poem for, for today, today. Mm, the third day, all devout and faithful souls. The miracles of mercy are impenetrable. Neither the sinner nor just one will fathom them. When you cast upon us an eye of pity, you draw us all closer to your love. Amen. I just love that little, the little poem that's included each day that's not included in those pamphlets. So we put it in the, the videos that, that we are producing. And, and I don't mean to interject again, but I've, uh, 
I love creating PowerPoints. So I've actually created PowerPoints for the novena. And I so love to get yours every day, Joan, because what I do is I, if you don't mind, if it's okay, I copy and paste them in and, I, and that little, I make sure that that little poem is right in the middle of the prayers. There. Awesome. No, it's everything we do. We want Definitely. people to share, use. Yes. Copy and paste. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. We're just hoping for people to, uh, you know, make it easier for everyone. Um, okay. I have a question. Uh, the, the, we did talk yesterday also about today. You might know that um, Joe Biden had called forth uh, that today on our Easter day be. Let's turn the recording off. Okay. We're going to stop the recording. Sorry. That's all right. Of, uh, it's just YouTube will get us in trouble. Or they'll, see you tomorrow. They'll, God bless you all. Happy cancel. Easter. You can find us on. Uh, tell us. Tell them where they can find us. YouTube, Divine Mercy for America and DivineMercyForAmerica.org. Sign up, get connected, be part of the team, praying for our country the way the Lord told St. Faustina. Adios. Till tomorrow.